During World War II, over 1,000 Jewish cemeteries in Poland were desecrated by the Nazis, who used the tombstones for construction work as part of the humiliation of Jews and devastation of their heritage. After the war, Poland's communist authorities continued to use the Jewish tombstones, known as Matzeras, to build roads, airports, monuments, and even houses. Seven decades after World War II ended, countless Matzeras remain dispersed, often underground. But now, joint Israeli-US-Polish NGO from the Depths Foundation is working to restore and preserve millions of tombstones across Poland, with a little help from the Polish Strongman Federation, putting their muscle power to good use. From the depths, President Johnny Daniels said that this was an important symbolic gesture. Matzeras that were taken and used in the wrong context uh, are symbolic of the problems from the past. And by taking these matzeras and bringing them back, taking them back to where they belong, we're correcting a right. And the partnership that we have with poles of all different kinds coming together, helping us restore this Jewish heritage and history is a step in the right direction. Across Poland, Matzevas were broken up, crushed, and mixed with other materials before being used in construction projects. These ranged from road signs to furnaces. They were even used in the construction of the Lion Run at Warsaw Zoo. The coordinator of the Matzevas project says the restoration would help families who've never been able to pay their respects at their relatives' gravestones. The fact that we don't understand these strange Hebrew signs doesn't mean that they should be stuck there in the pavement. And it's important, on one hand, to restore the names and dignity of the dead. And on the other hand, we're building a database which will be available online, and it will make it easier for families of the deceased to search for the tombs. In this small central Polish town, a football pitch was built on the side of an old Jewish cemetery. Matseva fragments can be seen in the wall surrounding the pitch, but on the slope above, something more shocking, human remains. It is seriously concerning and worrying. The fact that we can still see bones clearly exposed, skulls, fragments of bones literally falling off the wall is a very, very, very serious problem and something that needs to be addressed and something that should have been addressed years ago. The fact that we're here today, today, dealing with this is obscene. And, and truly shocking. And we're going to reach out to the mayor and to the chief of wife Poland that this really should be taken care of with utter, utter, utter emergency because it's a serious problem for us. Volunteers on the Matseva project hope that people will understand that what may be just one piece of stone to one person is an important element of other people's lives and national identity.